In this video lesson, we're going to look at how to pass higher unit 2 NAB. This NAB is the one taken from HSN. And I'm going to show you how to get full marks in it. Now, in outcome 1, you only need 4 out of 6 to pass it. But let's look at how to get all the marks. So, the question 1 says, show that x plus 2 is a factor of this polynomial, and hence fully factorise. So because x plus 2 is a factor of this, that means x equals negative 2 is going to be a root to make the bracket equal to 0. So because f of negative 2 is going to be a root, then we evaluate f of negative 2. This means use a synthetic division table, like the one below. Now the way this is set up, we get the coefficients of the polynomial and put them along the top. So the x cubed has a coefficient of 1, so we put a 1 here. The x squared has a coefficient of negative 2. The x terms get a coefficient of negative 4. And then we have plus 8 at the end. We then put our negative 2 out here. That's what we're evaluating. And that gets you a mark. And then the process to do this synthetic division table is to drop the 1 down. Whatever number is up here, drop it down. And then we multiply by the negative 2. So 1 times negative 2 is negative 2, and then you add that to the number above. So negative 2 add negative 2 is negative 4. And then again you multiply by this number here, so that's going to be negative 4 times negative 2 gives you plus 8. You add, that's going to be 4. And then you multiply by negative 2, gives you negative 8, and you add to get 0. This zero is what we're looking for, and because the remainder is equal to zero, we can see x plus two is a factor. That gets you a mark for it. You have to write this statement. So let's look at how to get the other two marks. We have to end with fully factorising f of x. So we already know that x plus two is a factor. The other bracket that we multiply by x two to make this here is given by these parts here. This is called the quotient and it's whatever's left once you divide by x plus 2. So we have our x plus 2 and then we get these parts here as I said from here. This is your number term, this is your coefficient of your x and this here is your coefficient of your x squared. Now we've got three marks, this question's out of four, we have to factorise this last trinomial. So x is at the start, and then twos at the end to make the four. Now we have to think, is it going to be plus twos or negative twos? Well it needs to be negative two to make the negative four there. So that's going to give you x squared, take away two x, another take away two x, and a plus four. That gets you your four marks here. Okay, question two. Use the discriminant to determine the nature of the roots of the equation 3x squared plus 4x take away 2 equals 0. So the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. We get our a, b and c values from looking at this. Again, looking at coefficients. Your a terms your coefficient of x squared, so we can write that as 3. b is the coefficient of x, which is 4. And c is the number at the end, the negative 2. So if we do b squared minus 4ac, using that you get a mark. Sub in the 4 to b. So you're going to have 4 squared, take away, and then 4 times 3 times negative 2. Put that in brackets. And then work this out. So 16, take away, 12 times negative 2, that's negative 24. So take away negative 24. That becomes plus, subtraction of negative, and you get 40. To get your last mark here, you have to write a statement. So, since the discriminant is positive, the roots are real and unequal for your mark. If it was equal to zero, the discriminant, your roots would be real and equal, they'd be the same. And if the discriminant was less than, than zero, then the roots would be non-real, they wouldn't exist. 